Hi everybody, Kai Waza with you. Happy New Year to everybody. January, a new year, and we are continuing my journey through my Hawaiian record collection, one record at a time. Um, in case you're just joining us this year, I was kind of inspired to do this uh, by watching other videos, other YouTubers who were showing their record collections, and some of them were, you know, small collections, some of them had larger ones, but and some people were seriously into it, some people were just like getting whatever. And it was kind of interesting just to watch and hear people's stories about their songs and their records and why they like them. And it inspired me. I thought, you know, I should really do that too because I have this huge, huge, that's two-thirds of it. There's another shelf over there. Um, 2,500 about Hawaiian records. So I thought maybe I should do uh, a series on it. It would be uh, fun. And uh, it's turned out to be quite... A longer project than I thought, <laughs> but I'm going to see it through. And uh, we may actually finish it this year. I'm not making any promises, but I may get all the way through this year. Anyway, we're on the letter O. And excuse my voice if I sound a little bit snuffly and uh, I'm kind of drinking some warm water here. I just got back from a Christmas cruise and uh, I kind of got sick on the plane going over because there were people on the plane that were sick, which happens a lot. It's nobody's fault. And... Uh, Everybody on the plane was sick coming home, so I'm sure I got, like, reinfested. And I have MS, so what happens to me is when I get a cold, I have it for, like, ever. I'll have it for, like, six weeks, and then when I'm coming out of it, I'll have an MS episode, and that's just how it is. It's fine. It's no big deal, but just understand that the next several videos are probably going to be me sounding kind of snuffly or whatever. That's how it is. So let's continue with the letter O, um, because we are moving forward, Okay. This is from the year 1958. I have several records by this group here called the Outriggers. Um, I don't exactly know who they are, but I think it might be Sam Cokey and some studio musicians that were performing on the West Coast. Um, this is Warner Brothers Records. And it has, uh, you know, most of the kind of standard songs on it. <laughs> This album, I believe, is uh, instrumental. Rapture, it's called. And uh, the other ones from the Outriggers are, are vocal also. Uh, the next one comes the next year, 1959, Captivation. And again, nothing unusual in this track listing, just more of the sort of the standard songs. Blue Hawaii and Moon of Manicura and such. Oh, I should show the labels. I know some people like to see the labels. These are all on... Uh, Warner Brothers Records, The Outriggers. Finally, from them, uh, 1960, Surrender. I'm sure you're probably familiar with the movie From Here to Eternity, and this sort of recreates that famous kiss in the, in the waves from that film. On the back here, it says an aphrodisiac of favorite songs from Hawaii, performed by the Outriggers. Then I have uh, one more from them, which is just uh, also on Warner Brothers. It is just a compilation of songs uh, from the other three albums. Nothing new on it. Golden Hits of Hawaii. Now we've come to a most interesting artist who uh, came to Hawaii in 1934, uh, originally from Nebraska. I uh, have the name of Harry Owens. That will be familiar to some of you who are familiar with Hawaiian music. Uh, he ended up being the band leader of the uh, at the uh, of a what am I saying? A band leader of a band that performed for many years at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. Hence the name 
Harry Owens, and the Royal Hawaiians, a name that has significance, um, which I will explain shortly. Uh, this is one of their early albums, Hawaiian Melodies, Harry Owens and his Royal Hawaiians, this album featuring Hilo Hattie, also known as Clara Inter. <laughs> The princess poo is not truly unruly to pass out papaya each day. But all of her neighbors, they say, she may give the fruit. This is a, obviously a 10 inch on Columbia Records. And the fruit to boot. And here's another 10 inch. I particularly love this record. Simply called Hawaii. Great artwork on it. And some great songs on this one as well. Uh, Down on Ami Ami Oni Oni Isle, written by Harry Owens. I love that song. Everybody feels terrific and romantically prolific, and you never see a face without a smile. It's against the law to wear a frown. Down on Ami Ami Oni Oni Isle, you'll find a pretty little hula in a pretty little hula. Uh, he also does a version of Hawaiian war chant called the Laughing Song. Polynesians have a very happy faculty of relaxing in the shadow of a coca tree. This one also on Capitol Records. Now, Harry Owens and his Royal Hawaiians were very, very successful, very well known. Their name was known throughout the world, really. And uh, what happened with a lot of the uh, budget labels when the you know, Crown and Diplomat, whatever, started doing all of their imitation art where they would imitate a famous artist or make you think it was somebody else and they would be rehashing these Hawaiian studio recordings that they had over and over and again. The name Royal uh, became kind of linked up with the Hawaiian music and I don't know, you know, Harry Owens and his Royal Hawaiians and Guy Lombardo and his Royal Canadians were around the same time period so I don't know who was actually first but the Royal thing really stuck with uh, the budget label Hawaiian groups and you'll see uh, a lot, which I'm showing you here, of the budget labels at uh, later on, would release their fake Hawaiian band names using the term royal. It was really funny because I think of Harry Owens and the Royal Hawaiians. Like here, for example, we see Harry Kapuni and his Royal Polynesians. And on this record, that's not on the front, but uh, on the back, it's Lonnie Lawrence and his Royal Polynesians. And here's one, Luke Leilani and his Royal Hawaiians. <laughs> it got to be used a lot. So here's some more from Harry Owens. Um, he wrote many, many songs, probably most noted for uh, Sweet Leilani, which was written for his daughter, uh, which is on this album. And of course, it's been recorded by thousands of other people. <laughs> This one I have is not original. I mean, it's a reissue, later reissue. Here we have Great Songs of Hawaii. Coconut Grove is kind of a well-known song. I believe he wrote that too. Uh, these are all songs that he wrote on here. Voice of the Trade Winds, To You Sweetheart Aloha, very well-known. Well, he had a part in writing some of them. Um, Hawaiian Paradise. A syncopated hula love song A hula maiden sang to me And I lost my heart On the beach at Waikiki A blue Hawaiian moon was shining The stars were blinking high above And I got... Now, I've saved uh, the best for last to me, my favorite Harry Owens album. Polynesian Holiday, kind of a rare recording. This is Capitol Records. This was music intended to be set to a, <coughs> pardon me, to a television show or a movie about Harry Owens going to the South Pacific Islands, uh, Tahiti, Samoa, etc. However, that, I don't really know the story except that that show and that film never came about. So there was no Polynesian Holiday film, whatever but they did release the music. 
and it's got some great songs on it, all Harry Owens compositions, Trade Wind, Lovely Tahiti, uh, my personal favorite, Come Back to Rarotonga. <laughs> Uh, and then finally, the only, I don't have anything in Exotica and South Pacific under the letter O except for this one record, which I'm just going to show you right here, by uh, two groups together. It's called Tane Te Vahine, or Man and Woman, Folklore of the Isles. This, of course, is a Tahitian record by featuring the groups Otea Tiari Tahiti and Solomon and his group. And that, folks, concludes the letter O. Yes, it does, which means that it's time for us to draw and see what letter we will go to next, as is traditional, from the book that I am currently reading, which is Urbane Travelers. Rather an interesting book, actually. Uh, it's account, a writing about the accounts of people who traveled like in the 15 and the 1600s. Really interesting. Far cry from a cruise, let me tell you. So let me see what letter we will go to next. Okay. N. Letter N. Okay. The letter N we begin on the next video. Have a good week. We'll see you next time shortly.